It's Shadowlands Season 3, and if your interface doesn't look like the command center of a spaceship, then you are doing something wrong. Luckily for you, Skillcapped has you covered, and today we will be going over all of the essential add-ons you need for Arena. And if you're out there saying, well, back in my day, we didn't use add-ons. Well, who are you, Abe Simpson or something? Anyway, sit back as we show you what your interface should look like in Shadowlands Season 3, including two huge updates for Patch 9.2. But before we get into it, we wanted to remind you of our 250 plus rating guarantee over at skillcap.com slash wow. Yes, that's right. If you don't gain at least 250 rating while actively using our website, we refund you. It's as simple as that. Last season, we saw players just like you get the rating and achievements they've always wanted. Whether you're a returning player or if you just want to learn a new class, our website is proven to work. So if you want to take your gameplay to the next level, be sure to check out skillcap.com today. If you're a regular viewer on this channel, you should have the essentials down. But judging by some of the viewer submitted games we go over every week, some of you could use a crash course. There are five add-ons that everyone should be using no matter what. I don't care if you are challenger or rank one, these are the essentials. First up, Gladius. Of course, this has been around for over a decade, and that's for a good reason. The ability to track enemy HP, mana, and trinkets is really powerful, especially now since players have access to the new Echoing Resolve PvP medallion, which dramatically changes how matchups are played, but more on that later. Aside from this, tracking DRs is essential in Shadowlands, and not just for comps like RMP. No, every composition in the game pretty much plays like a setup-based comp. You need to be tracking enemy CC DRs, especially stuns, to know when your setups are actually ready. If you blow your control and damage into a target on DR, it can completely ruin the kill. Next up, Omnibar. Once again, this has been around for a while, and if you haven't been using it, you're fired! Okay, maybe that was a bit harsh. Anyway, Omnibar is essential because cooldowns are central to how every arena game is played. It doesn't matter if you play healer or DPS, knowing what CDs the enemy team has and whether or not interrupts are available is massively important. We highly recommend utilizing the ability to make multiple bars, having one or two dedicated to cooldowns only, with another dedicated to interrupts. Be sure you are going through each class individually, filtering out minor cooldowns to only track the biggest and most important CDs on the enemy team. Otherwise, you will wind up like Rocky in our Road to Glad series, who had an Omnibar disaster that we had to fix up immediately, helping him out on his push to Gladiator. Once you have your Omnibar set up, we highly recommend getting Omni CD. This add-on tracks party cooldowns, which is important for normal organized arena, but also for any form of solo queue, since without communication, it is nearly impossible to keep track of your team's cooldowns. Just like before, make sure you're filtering CDs on a class-by-class -class basis. You don't need to track every ability your teammates have, just important things like major defensive and offensive cooldowns. Next up on our list of essential add-ons for 9.2, we have Weak Auras. Love it or hate it, you need to be playing with this add-on, no questions asked. It's like the steroids of WoW Arena. If everyone is using it, then it's technically not cheating, right? Honestly, Weak Auras is so complex that we would need to make an entire video explaining how to set it up. Oh wait, we already did that! So be sure to check out our Weak Auras guide after this video. One addition you might want to make this season is adding a Weak Aura to track Cosmic Gladiator's Resonator. We showed you how to do this in our recent video on 9.2 trinkets, but really, if you just search the word Resonator on the Weak Aura's website, there are plenty of options you can choose from. And speaking of important 9.2 updates, be sure to get the newest version of Big Debuffs. This add-on will display important buffs and debuffs on different unit frames across your UI. With the Echoing Resolve trinket being so game-changing, this add-on makes it way easier to see when enemy players have the buff, helping you avoid situations where you might accidentally stun into an immunity. And with Holy Priest being so popular in Season 3, it will do the same for Holy Ward, letting you know when you will have to play around the buff. But outside of these meta-defining abilities in 9.2, big debuffs is still immensely important for all players who want to take Arena seriously. As a healer, it can let you know when your partners are stuck in important CCs for quick dispels, and the same applies for DPS. Big debuffs makes it much easier to see when your healer is stuck in CC, which makes it essential for solo queue environments where communication is minimal or non-existent. There are some other potentially game-breaking add-ons we will cover in just a bit, but just as a recap, make sure you have the latest versions of Gladius, Omnibar, Omni CD, Weak Auras, and Big Debuffs, and be sure to modify them by revisiting some of our previous add-on guides. Okay, so you have the essentials. What more do you need in Season 3? The first is Derangement Shield Meters. Ugh, they need to rename that immediately. 
In any case, this add-on might be worth checking out if you have any absorption effect on your team, like Life Cocoon or Blazing Barrier, but also if you have the new Aegis Trinket equipped. It will display a texture over you or your party's health bars, indicating how much absorption they currently have. This can be pretty useful as a healer, since it will display when your teammates are actually in danger, irrespective of their current HP. Another important add-on to check out is Diminish. Most of the time, you are simply paying attention to enemy CCDRs. If you want to do your setup, just wait and see when Diminishing Returns have fully faded on the enemy team, and then do your 3-2-1 setup. What Diminish allows you to do is track the CCDRs that are currently affecting your own character. This means you will be able to see when you or your team is vulnerable to the 3-2-1 CC setup of your opponents. Knowing this information can allow you to perform some skilled preemptive plays, like pre-using an important defensive cooldown before a stun lands, or by pre-kiting to avoid the setup entirely. Since RMP doesn't seem to be going away anytime soon, this add-on is just another piece of technology to help you adapt to the Shadowlands 3-2-1 meta. And speaking of add-ons to make setups more manageable, you might just want to check out Buff Overlay. Just like some of the other add-ons on this list, Buff Overlay is perfect for solo play. It will display some of the most important buffs on your party members directly in the center of their frame. What this means is that you will be able to make more informed decisions by knowing when your teammates are truly in danger. If they have a massive defensive buff on them, like Bubble or Ice Block, that means you might not need to peel, or instead, it might make you look for Mass Dispel and Shattering Throw to disrupt. In any case, this is a useful add-on for any solo queue enthusiast this season. Last up, we have Jack's Party Cast Bars, which displays your party members' cast bars next to their unit frames. This should be self-explanatory, of course, but before you say, I don't really need that, think about how much information that can actually tell you. Want to see if your partner is going for an important CC cast or big heal? Just look at their cast frames. Once again, this is simply perfect for any solo queue experience. Less communication requires more visual information. Let's wrap things up by going over some add-ons that make your life easier. These won't make you immediately great at PvP, but can help fix some issues. Over the past few expansions, Blizzard has removed a lot of iconic and important things from the game. Intercept, Deep Freeze, and even the entire city of Darnassus. But one thing that makes absolutely no sense is the removal of several important interface options. And that's the exact problem that Advanced Interface Options tries to solve. Many settings that were removed from modification are still in WoW's files, but they need to be modified through scripts or in-text documents. Instead of having to manually type in scripts like you're using 1990s Sims hacks, you can simply search through hidden game variables and modify them directly in the add-on itself. One of the most important settings to change are custom lag tolerance, especially if you play on higher latency. Another add-on you might want to consider is called Disable Loss of Control. This helps solve one huge interface issue that you personally might have experienced without knowing. Every time you get put in a CC effect, your entire action bar will be on cooldown. This is because when you are CC'd, you generally can't can't use any of your abilities, but this unfortunately has the side effect of making some cooldowns harder to track. If you take a CC right as a key ability is about to come off cooldown, you might have been tricked into thinking that it will be available the moment you press your trinket. This add-on simply removes the appearance of every ability being on CD when you are stuck in crowd control, and only shows the cooldown timers over single abilities that are actually on cooldown. Kinda confusing, we know, but TLDR, this should cause you to make better decisions in Arena. Last up, we have details. Once again, this add-on is pretty complicated on its surface, and we might need to make a full-length guide showing you how to use it. Most of the time, it's used for coping purposes, like making your team feel better after dying to a 90k demon bolt, but its utility is way more complex. If you're new to a class, details can help you diagnose key mistakes in your DPS or healing rotation. Did you lose a mirror match into someone who did way more healing or damage than you? Details can help you figure out why. You can use it to compare your global usage to other players, seeing if they used an ability more or less than you did, so you can begin to correct your own rotation. This even works with interrupts. Want to know why you lost? See if you or your partners are doing a good job interrupting important casts. Outside of that, it can be used to gauge whether or not an ability or talent is actually impactful in your rotation. By looking at your full damage breakdown, you can see how much each spell or talent is actually contributing to your overall throughput. Additionally, you can track buff uptime, even for trinkets, to give you a full breakdown of how often you have important ability procs. Once again, this add-on is so wildly complex that it would take an entire video explaining how to use it properly. But we want to know what you think. Would you like to see a full video on details? Or better yet, do you think we missed any important add-ons? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. 
And while you're at it, we wanted to remind you once again of our 250 plus rating guarantee over at skillcap.com. Yes, right now for prices as low as $4.99 a month, you can get instant access to hundreds of premium videos designed to increase your rating and wow. Joining today will also give you access to the premium section of our Discord server, where you can get on-demand help with your UI, macros, or get any PvP related questions answered by our team of experts. Over half a million players have used our website, and with a money back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. So check us out at skillcap.com slash wow today. All right, guys, that about wraps this one up. We hope you found the information in this video useful. If you did, let us know in the comments below. In any case, thanks for watching. See you soon.